Merry Advent on this 16th day of December. My name is Pastor Greg Finke, and I am your deployed missionary out of Trinity Downtown. Let's begin our Advent devotion. In the name of the Word who became flesh, so that we could behold His glory and receive His grace and truth. Amen. Our Bible passage for today is a passage that's really quite uh, meaningful at Dwelling 114. Uh, it's John 1.14 through verse 17. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father full of grace and truth. John testifies concerning Him. He cries out, saying, This was He of whom I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me because He was before me. From the fullness of His grace we have all received one blessing after another. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Today's chrisman is an unusual one. It is a fish bearing a basket of bread. Now when we hear about fish and baskets of bread or loaves and fish, of course our minds probably zip right to the uh, miracle where Jesus used five loaves and two fish in order to feed the 5,000. And certainly that's a legitimate uh, thing to think about. But in this particular case, that's not the meaning of this symbol. This symbol comes from the catacombs and is actually a symbol of the Eucharist or of the Lord's Supper. You see, the bread symbolizes that the Lord himself is our food. Think of the bread of life, for instance. And then the fish was a symbol that uh, uh, indicated that the Lord was God incarnate. In other words, the Word that became flesh. Now, why did the Word become flesh? Well, we could say He became flesh to come and save us, and that's true. But the Word became flesh specifically because we who need saving are flesh. For us to behold Him and receive one blessing after another from Him, He needed to be born and make His dwelling among us. And He did. And in the Eucharist, He still does. And for what purpose? Why have we beheld Him and received from Him? The answer is simple. So that we too can now become the Word made flesh for our neighbors. In other words, through our baptism, because Jesus came in the flesh, died on the cross, rose again, because He is our bread of life, because He continues to come to us with, uh, through the Lord's Supper, He now literally dwells within us. Once He, drew, he, he uh, dwelt among us, but now He dwells in us, so that now we become, in that way, the Word made flesh. No, we're not Jesus. No, we're not the second person of the Trinity. But Jesus lives in us through our baptism and now can live through us as well for the good of our neighbors that need His grace and truth. We literally are joining Jesus on His mission as His body. We are the body of Christ. And so we celebrate that yes, once Jesus came to dwell with us, in flesh and, and, and blood, but now He is with us and we become His flesh. We become His hands and feet, His eyes and ears, His mouth to others. It is a privilege. We not only have received His uh, gifts, not only have we received one blessing after another, but now we get to be agents of that blessing, get to be a bl uh, an agent of that grace and truth to others. Let's pray. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in. Be born to us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. O come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. And now receive this blessing. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have received His grace and truth. Now, having freely received it, go and freely give it away. Amen. Amen.